apologize in advance because I feel like this lighting is going to be terrible because it's almost four o'clock, which means that it's going to be dark out in like 10 minutes. <laughs> um, so you guys, just a little casual December favorites video, nothing big or exciting. <laughs> Um, so you guys like my Christmas present for my parents this year? Um, I am officially a five-year-old in a 33-year-old's body. <laughs> um, this, like, giant deer is from Melissa and Doug, and it is the cutest thing ever. Like, my mom tried to hide it under the tree, and it was like, <laughs> it's like, there's no way to hide a giant reindeer <laughs> but um I love it and I plan to keep it out all year long so there you go I just remember something I forgot to grab hold on so this is gonna be a very random random favorites with some things I got for Christmas mixed in um continuing with the I'm five years old trend I also got this set um it's they're like the original 80s strawberry shortcake and blueberry muffin dolls um like like reproductions of them obviously but they're scented and everything so I can't really smell them through the box but how cool I love reliving my childhood <laughs> over and over and over again and then also my mom got me this super adorable like vintagey looking doll by the brand sweetheart dolls which what's really fun about having toys and stuff as an adult is that I get to let my nieces play with them <laughs> and my niece Diana loves this so much especially because she has a little piece of candy in her hand and Diana always goes candy and tries to eat it out of her hand she's just so sneaky but I just love it and I love that she's a little redhead like Adeline so there's that I also this was something I got for myself it was a little mermaid print well, this is my favorite part of the little mermaid too when she sings up on the rock um and this was actually from hobby lobby which it's one of those companies i don't love supporting but mm, it's little mermaid little mermaid's my favorite i also i'm gonna be single forever <laughs> um i got this vintage cat print from foresighted which is actually was originally sold at Marshall Fields which Marshall Fields is really like has a lot of history in my family because my grandmother worked for Marshall Fields and so did my mom so um I just think that's really cool because Marshall Fields went out of business and the one in downtown Chicago is now um it's now Macy's which ugh, Macy's sucks in comparison um I said Macy's sucks in comparison if you didn't hear me say that um okay Two more Christmas, a couple more Christmas presenty things, and then I'll get to the beauty stuff. I promise. I got this canister. This is from one of my favorite shops in Chicago, aside from Foresighted, called RR Number One. It's like a family tradition that we go there every Christmas Eve. <laughs> they always serve like champagne and mimosas and stuff too, like for all their customers, which I think is really cool. But it's like the coolest little shop, and I just pretty much put teas in these. I have another one too that's similar by the same artist, um, Fiona Hewitt. I just think these are super cute. Oh my god, I'm just get, gonna be going blind. Um, the other thing, this is so so beautiful. Rifle Paper Company came out with candles. They know me so well. <laughs> if they came out with makeup, I'd just be like, I'd buy everything. <laughs> but um. I, I didn't think I was going to like any of the candles because the scents didn't really stand out to me when I read about them. Um, I liked all of them. And this one was actually my favorite. This was called, um, it's on it somewhere. It says Amalfi Del Mar. I hope I pronounced that right. That's the name right there. But what's great about this it, is it actually has really good throw. And look how evenly it's burned. So... I think it will be really easy for me to clean this out and repurpose it when I'm done with it, which I will absolutely be doing. So I just think that's super, super cool. I hope I just didn't get uh, soot on my face. The other thing that was a Christmas present because I used gift cards to get it is um, I got myself a new perfume. 
it's by clean it's from the reserve line that they sell at sephora oh my god the sun my shade is broken on this window so there's nothing i can do about it except maybe move and that's too much work <laughs> um this is called um citron fig since you can't see any of the bottle it just says it's in the citrus green family and i usually don't like fig but there's something about this it's kind of like it's very unisex very fresh very very different from anything else i have and i just really like it and i'm a sucker for a nice perfume bottle too so kind of expensive but like I said, gift cards, that's what I like about gift cards is they make you feel like you're, you can justify buying expensive things. So, yeah. Um, um, I'm just going to show this because I feel like I'm going to forget otherwise. I got, I got some books for Christmas and um, this one I was so excited about. You guys know probably if you've seen any of my videos that I love Junji Ito's Uzumaki. It's my favorite like manga ever it's the scariest thing ever i'm so freaked out by spirals because of that book <laughs> trilogy um but they came out with a special edition of that and i got it last year this year they came out with um a giant beautiful edition of tomi which i had never even read before i don't think it's ever been published in the u.s but uh i i'm already i just started reading and i'm only like 50 something pages in but um, I don't want to like give anything away. I'm not going to read the synopsis because that'll take me forever. But um, if you're interested, just look up Tomi on Amazon. The other thing I was so excited about, my favorite book as a child was called The Lonely Doll by Dare Wright. It kind of was like the start of me getting like super into doll collecting and stuff. I loved that basically the Lonely Doll books, I'm just going to show you. So like she photographed the doll like doing things. <laughs> it was just very unique for the time and like there she has like a teddy bear, two teddy bear friends and she has a kitten in this one like a real live kitten. Um, but I just think they're so creative and interesting. Well they um, republished pretty much the whole series aside from one I think um which I had never owned any of these and I was so excited and they're really inexpensive because they're paperback but I was just so excited to have these so now like I have the whole collection aside from one like I said there's one with a bully that they didn't reproduce I think but anyways so that's me getting nerdy about books and I'm done with that now so this moisturizer that you can't see at all <laughs> um it's by soap and glory it's called uh for daily youth and um it says six in one multi-active moisture lotion basically i use this i've been using this day and night and it says you can um use it day or night i find this so moisturizing it's not all greasy it sinks in nicely it smells like peaches and it doesn't break me out uh could it be any more perfect i don't think so and it comes in a tube, not a jar. So yeah, and it's $15, which I think is a really reasonable price for a nice moisturizer. So I highly recommend that. I got that from Walgreens. Uh, one foodie thing, because I actually have not been eating much candy this month because I've been struggling with canker sores this month. And um, I think I, was, I had like a vitamin deficiency. So I've been taking multivitamins every day so that and it's definitely helped and I've also tried to like cut out like acidic sugary stuff um and that's definitely made a huge difference but like chocolate doesn't seem to bother me too much though so yeah this is the Compartes chocolate bar in cinnamon toast which is a it's white chocolate with actual cinnamon toast crunch cereal in it uh are you kidding me right now this is no joke like the bougiest chocolate ever um they're expensive as crap and um i love every minute of it not gonna lie so um this was one of the holiday edition ones and i found a place called foxtrot that sells a large quantity of compartes chocolate products so 
I'm doomed for life now. <laughs> but um, luckily it's not too easy for me to get there, so. But I love that. That was, I've had one already and I repurchased it. So that's how I can tell you that I like it. Um, I found this lip balm at another one of my favorite Chicago stores called um, Artifact. I was drawn to it because it had foxes all over it. Little did I know that the actual <laughs> tube would have foxes on it as well. And it's a raspberry lip balm. It's nothing like, you know, it's just clear, but it smells so good. Oh my God. I can't get over it. So the brand is um, Folklore. It's a juicy raspberry lip balm. Um, I love this so much. So if you ever see this anywhere, because I'm not sure. It says on the side, the fox, noble, whimsical, ambitious. So anyways, I just think that's really cute and adorable. And it smells good. So there you go. Next up, this Stila highlighter. I have to blame Fair by Fate, um, my friend Jess, for this because she posted a little Sephora haul on her Instagram stories and I was like, um, what? I need this. And I saw it in Sephora and like just instantly bought it. It is the most glorious. It's the Stila um, Heaven's Hue Highlighter in the shade Kitten. And actually, oh my God, I swear, Jesus, this is horrible. I have it on right now. I have it on in my inner corners. I have it on like wherever you put highlighter. I have it on right now. It is glorious. It's like the softest, most buttery highlighter too. Like, can you see this? Uh, despite the blinding light. Like, how pretty is that? Gorgeous. I'm so glad I brought a tissue. I'm a genius. Okay, next, this e.l.f. palette, it's called the Total Face Palette, and I can't remember what the name is because it doesn't have it on the packaging. That's what happens with inexpensive brands. But I think this is so great. I haven't used the highlighter shade yet. I swear to God, I'm like, I need to move my camera. I'll be right back. Okay, that is so much better. <laughs> I'm really sorry. That was probably really annoying to watch like that. Um, okay, so this palette from elf i haven't used the highlighter shade yet so i can't comment on that but there's like a pinky blush and a peachy blush which are both gorgeous and then this bronzer type shade um i've been using as well which is such a nice shade for fair skin and it was like i think eight dollars for this palette maybe six was a really good deal and that was at um target but i have the pinky blush on right now it's not like super like Barbie pink or anything. It's just a nice, nice shade. Now, if you want more of a punch, this um, is from Chanel. It's from their holiday or their spring collection. It is called Elegance. Elegance probably because it's French, but it's just a really nice peachy. Mm. Chanel blushes are very perfumed. So I would recommend not blind ordering one if you've never smelled them before, but I love them. I love that they come with a little brush and a mirror because I don't need to bring a compact with me. If I want to touch up makeup, I can just use that for that purpose. Um, it's really good. I forgot to bring out, there's also a lipstick in this collection. It's a Rouge Allure Velvet in the shade Libra. I, um, with an E, Libre, yeah. Um, I don't know why it was hard for me to pronounce that all of a sudden. Uh, I swatched that on my Instagram though. Um, that's definitely another favorite from this month, but I forgot about it. So uh, definitely check that out. Uh, next, I have so many lip things this month. I'm like, how am I going to get through this? This Makeup Forever eyeshadow in the shade M408 is like mustardy magic. I'm like, where has this been all my life? Uh, <laughs> that was the weirdest sound. I have it on my lids right now, and I used the um, Master Palette by Mario, um, Isabel, and Violetta um, to kind of darken out the crease and stuff. But I think this is so beautiful. I love the Makeup Forever Artist Shadows. They're really good quality products. Um, okay, gotta gotta move faster, Jessica, because it's getting 
dark already. I hate this time of year. Um, two things from Burberry, which I've also swatched these on Instagram. I really try to like, even though I don't always post videos, I try to keep posting swatches on Instagram as much as possible. This is um, a new shade in their Lip Velvet line, and it's called Pale Rose number 402. I feel like these aren't as scented as the other ones, too. They still have the scent, but I don't know. I feel like maybe they reformulated this line or something. It just feels a little bit nicer somehow. It still has the magnetic closure, nice square packaging, um, but that color is so pretty. And then they also came out with these line, this line of... Um, Liquid Lip Velvets. This is the shade Fawn. They disappeared from Nordstrom's website for a while, but they're back up there now. And I believe Sephora has them also. But this is just such a nice, like, mauve -y nude. My only complaint about these is they do kind of feather a little bit. They don't dry down matte. They're more moussey. And um, they don't have a ton of, like, wearable neutral shades. Like, the nude shade is really nude. There's a shade called um, Fawn Rose, which is very cool toned. Um, so there's only a couple shades that are really like wearable for every day. So that's my only other gripe about those. So what I'm wearing on my lips right now is the Bite Beauty Edgy Neutrals Collection Amuse Boost, <laughs> Amuse Boost <laughs> shade Cremini. So they came out with this new collection called Edgy Neutrals. They're all named after mushrooms. Um, this one is such a nice kind of, I don't know, it's looking kind of warm. I feel like sometimes it looks kind of more cool toned. I swatched these on um, my Instagram as well. But I have three of the shades. This one is the lightest one called Enoki. I just think these are such unique colors. I feel like Bite does kind of edgy, weird shades really well. And this is Porcini. So I think these are so pretty. And I love the Amuse Bouche formula. It's one of my absolute favorites. I love Bite Beauty products just in general. Um, yeah. So I've also swatched these on Instagram. I'm just like plugging my Instagram like crazy. But no, I just feel like it's helpful to have like actual physical lip swatches so you can see what they look like on. Um, NYX came out with a bunch of new lingerie lip liquid lipstick shades. 12, I believe. Um, and I picked up, I think, seven of them all together. One of them it was so bad that I returned it. Like, it was patchy um, and uneven. And the formula was just not the same as the other new shades I got. That one was called Delicate Suit. Delicate, Delicate Lust. Delicate Lust. That one's horrible. <laughs> don't, don't buy that one. But these two are gorgeous. This one is um, Cashmere Silk. And this one is Seduction. The, the new shades have more of a moussey formula. Um, they're not as tacky as the previous shades. And um, they don't come... Well, actually, no, they do, they do dry down, if I remember correctly. They do dry down, but they feel moussey when you apply them. Um, but these go on super pigmented and smooth and even. And they're gorgeous shades. So those two... I love Cabaret Show as well, but these two... I've worn more, so that's why they're here. Uh, also really liked this MAC Retro Matte Lipstick in the shade Burnt Spice. Um, I'm not actually a huge fan of the MAC Retro Matte Liquid Lipsticks. They're very thick and pretty dry, um, but this is a really good dupe for Dose of Colors Truffle, and I love the smell of these, and I don't know, I've just I just reached for it a lot, so there's that uh this is like pretty much for packaging alone this was going to be in my favorites this is the mac mariah carey lipstick in all i want it is a frost i feel like it's too light and metallic on me i wore it in my home tour video though and you guys liked it but i don't know i find it a little bit hard to wear but i think the packaging is so stunning i haven't used it from the front i've only used it from the back that's a sign of a gorgeous lipstick <laughs> when I do that but um I just think it's so beautiful I'm not even going to take a second to talk about Mariah Carey's New Year's Eve performance I'm sure you guys have already seen it but um anyways okay I guess I only have a few more things so that's good um Stila I don't know why these are still in their boxes I've used them several times Stila came out with some matte metals 
and this this formula is not like the best formula it's I'm not as like these aren't as pigmented as I'd like them to be I guess this is the shade um, serene or Cy sirene I guess it's sirene it hasn't spelled with an I sorry this is not focusing yeah what's the point of that but um actually I guess I haven't worn this one I tested it in store and I wore it the rest of the day because they were brand new testers. I love when that happens. Um, but I haven't actually worn this by itself, but I think these colors are so pretty. This one I have worn a few times. This one is called Dore. And we, I was shopping with my dad for, um, for my mom for Christmas and he bought this for me. <laughs> I was going to give him cash to buy it at the same time so he could use the coupon the coupon together in one purchase that I had but um he's like oh don't worry about it Merry Christmas I thought that was sweet so um these are both just really pretty metallic shades I think Dora is more unique though um these are actually from Forever 21 of all places not where I would expect to find great lip products in fact, usually when I buy makeup, I'm always trying to talk myself out of buying makeup from Forever 21 because when I buy it, I don't usually use it. But I actually quite like these. This one is, um, oh, it doesn't say what it's called on it, but I think these are called matte liquid lip glosses. They like re, uh, they completely revamped their whole beauty line, just so you're aware. If you go in there, like everything is different. Um, this is a shade Dusty Pink. <laughs> I just did my favorites of 2016, so I have swatch is still on my hand but um or actually maybe this is the matte powder lip gloss see they don't say what they are I'm pretty sure these are the matte liquid lip glosses and this one is in the shade amber I'm just I don't know I wasn't gonna swatch things but here I am <laughs> and this is the shade brown and both of these are so pretty these are not what I would expect from Forever 21. They also taste like vanilla, which most of their, so that's um, amber and that's brown. They are just way nicer than I would expect from Forever 21. So worth checking out. They also have mirrored caps. Like, that's pretty fancy, Forever 21. Getting getting real fancy here. Uh, I am not a lip gloss girl at all. Like, I never wear lip gloss. But I've worn these I've worn one of these pretty much every day since I bought them. These are, look at how cute the caps are. These are the Too Faced Sweet Peach Creamy Peach Oil Lip Glosses. I have the shade Peach Fuzz, which is like a nude peachy pink shade. And I have the shade Papa Don't Peach, which is, I love the, Mar the Madonna reference because I think that True Blue was like my first like favorite album that I had when I was a kid. I loved Open Your Heart so much, but um, I listened to the whole thing all the time. So anyways, uh, this lip gloss in particular, Papa Don't Peach, is such a nice shade over like pretty much anything. I love it, it's really pigmented. This one is a teeny bit more sheer. Uh, I just got it on my finger, but um, they smell freaking amazing. They smell like peaches and roses and deliciousness and candy. And I love how they taste so much. And they're not at all sticky. They're very smooth and creamy feeling on the lips. And I love putting them on over super dry, moisture sucking, <laughs> dehydrating matte liquid lipsticks. And yeah, especially this time of year when it's just like I can't take the dryness. So last but not least i picked up a couple of the new nyx slide on lip pencils which are one of my favorite budget friendly in fact they probably are my favorite budget friendly lip liners i have the shades beyond nude need me and high standards and then i can't find the other ones from this collection that I got that I really like too. But um, Maybelline also came out with these Color Sensational Shaping Lip Liners and I wasn't gonna buy them because they're twist ups, but this one in the shade Totally Toffee is like so creamy 
a nice and it lasted all day so I had gotten this one and one other because they were buy one get one 50% off and I went back and got two more because <laughs> they were still on sale so um, swatch these real quick for you too if I can because I think that I might have these are really hard to sharpen is the only downside with the NYX ones yeah the high standards one I like applied all over my lips just to see what it would look like and it was so pretty so this one is need me this one is beyond nude and that one is high standards um need me is a little bit more of like a purpley taupe nude and um beyond nude is a little bit more of like a warm brown nude uh they're both very nice like easy to pair with things type shades so now that the sun is setting <laughs> oh i just fed my cats so that's gross <laughs> Um, I didn't plan to film while I was, they were feeding, feeding while they were eating. Um, I hope that if Sammy was eating behind me that you enjoyed watching him get fatter by the minute. Uh, but yeah, I guess that's it for my favorites from December. I hope that, uh, you enjoyed it. Me and my buddy here. I need to name them. You guys help me name them. That's what YouTube does, right? We help each other with stuff that's important. <laughs> um, so yeah, if you guys have a name suggestion for my dear friend here, I like to think he's a boy. So just keep that in mind. No like girly, floofy names, please. <laughs> He'll be offended. But um, yeah, I guess that's it. I'm losing my mind. So I will talk to you guys soon and I hope that you enjoyed this ridiculous video and if you got through the horrible lighting in the beginning thank you very much so i will talk to you guys soon bye i know you thought i was done but i thought since i hadn't swatched these on instagram yet that i would swatch them for you here so this is the stila sirene lipstick and this is dory so there you go now i'm really done i'll talk to you guys soon bye